my cousin is Cindy, so I kind of have been exposed to this. But anyway, <laughs> I had a great father. He passed away in 2016. He would be 100 years old a couple weeks from now had he lived. I had a sister. I have a sister. And my dad was big on giving us experiences. And he loved the, to give us the experience of the skies. What was in the skies? We always saw the, the, all, the, the sun lunar eclipses, the, the sun eclipses. And he would wake us up in the middle of the night all the time. I don't know where he found all of these things. We didn't have the internet then. We didn't have the weather channel. But dad always knew when something was in the sky that was worth looking at. We lived at the top of a mountain, and there were towns nearby, but they were like three miles. So there was no obstruction from the light. With the skies were always illuminating. And we would go out on our second floor porch, and there was, there was no roof on that porch, and we would, he would show us things in the sky. We, we had a camper. My mom called, it was a pull behind, mom called it Yoo-Hoo. Yoo-Hoo. The second one was Yoo-Hoo too. We were out camping one time and it happened to be in the woods. And so dad wakes us up in the middle of the night. And so we begrudgingly get up in our jammies. And because we, could, we were in the woods, we couldn't see the skies. He put us in the rowboat that he fished in rode us out into the middle of the lake and said, now lay back, girls, and look at the skies. And there was this biggest meteor shower I ever saw. The skies were just streaking with meteors. It was such a wonderful experience. And then, you know, he'd keep this up. One of the towns built a new high school, Tamaqua High School. I don't know if you know about Tamaqua, but it's upstate Pennsylvania. They had a plantation, a, a planetarium. So we would go to see the planetarium every now and then. And I would come out lackluster and say, you know what, I see all this stuff in this, my own skies in real life. So one night, remember, we are in Pennsylvania on the top of a mountain, nothing around us. And again, he gets us up in the middle of the night. and. It was one of those times that I was in a deep sleep and I really didn't want to get up. And he said, honey, it'll be worth it. So out we go onto the porch. And there off in the distance, on the horizon, was the aurora borealis. That was the last time, first and last time I ever saw the aurora borealis. And I thank you, Dad. 